Hey, I am here to talk to you about how to clean up your Google Drive. Now we're talking about back to classroom. So what does this have to do with classroom? It's hard to get all your files and things organized so that you can get them into classroom. So here is my strategy. Let me go ahead and add this. And so what I do is I create a hot mess folder. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So for today, we are talking back to classroom. So if you would please use the hashtag back to classroom, please use the hashtag back to classroom on social media to share this and other great tips of how we can ease back into using Google Classroom and what products work really well with it. And so some of my favorite products that work with Google Classroom is Screencastify for video feedback, Moat for audio feedback, and Schoolytics to get student progress reports and to know who's turned in what. And we're talking about these and other great tools that helps you get more out of Google Classroom. So let's go back to talking about Google Drive. If your Google Drive is cleaner, you're gonna feel more prepared to tackle this school year. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my drive and what you'll notice is that I have a lot of folders. In fact, today I was trying to find a specific folder and that's why I am sharing this with you today. Look at all of these folders I have, it's like, overwhelming and that doesn't count all of the files that I have down here. It's just a hot mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the new button. I'm going to choose new. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it hot mess. Now let me give you a tip is if you put like a zero or an emoji or some sort of a symbol in front of your folder names, they're going to alphabetize to the top. So that is one of my other tricks is if I have a folder that I know I'm going to be putting things in and out of a lot, even if it's just for one day, I'll rename the folder so it has a zero in front of it. And I might even, if the folder's in a folder, in a folder, I might even move that folder temporarily to the main My Drive, rename it with a zero so it's right there at the top. So then when I share files, it's the first option. So that helps me out a lot. So I'm going to go ahead, create my zero hot mess. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on one of the other folders and hold down the shift key. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna right click and I wanna move. Now this is really important because uh, Google Drive now has this thing called shortcuts. I don't wanna make shortcuts because that actually makes a bigger hot mess of my Google Drive. So make sure that you right click and choose move to so that it moves it. Now watch how convenient this is gonna be. Do you see how zero hot mess is my very first option? That's why I put the zero on there so I don't have to scroll and find the folder that I'm trying to organize it into. So I'm gonna move, make sure it says move. I do not wanna make a shortcut. My first thing I wanna do is just don't look, don't read, don't think, simply, I'm holding down the shift key. Just don't want to do too many at a time. Depends on your internet speed, how slow it is. So just do a chunk of them. See where it says add shortcut? No, 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 I'm not adding a shortcut. I'm gonna move it to, move to. So I'm gonna choose move to. See how it's lagging a little bit? That's my point. Don't necessarily select too many at once because it'll lag longer. I'm gonna choose my zero hot mess folder. I'm just going to move that in here. Move here. And it's going. Move here. Okay. And then I'm going to take another chunk of folders. Right click. Don't look at them. Don't read them. Just move it. I'm going to move to. I mean, your first move just to try and get everything in this hot mess folder. It's coming. Did too many at once, I got greedy, I got greedy. So you just wanna do a little chunks. If you're like me and you have like a ton of folders, just do it in chunks because it does have some lag time the more things you're trying to move. But it is gonna come up here in a second and allow me to move it here. 
So my goal is to get this down to five folders or less, five folders or less. And like I said, I can always move to, so I have a folder in a folder in a folder, and I know I'm gonna be using that this week. So then what I can do is just go to that folder and I move it to my drive. So I put it at the top level of navigation so it's there while I'm using it, and then I'm gonna move it to back where it was. You can also do that just with a shortcut. So I definitely do that sometimes Wow, it's taking a long time. See, I told you I got greedy. Uh, so what I'll do is I have the folder that I'm wanting to move files into. For example, when I was writing the book, Teaching with Google Jamboard with Kim Matina, we were making a lot of jams. In fact, we have 180 jams in the book. So we have a folder where we're putting all of those Google Jams. So then I made a shortcut to that folder at the main level of Google Drive so that I didn't have to drip, drill down to my projects folder, my Jamboard book folder, and my sample jam folder, and inside of that, the sample jams that have not been checked by Kim, right? I had folder and a folder and a folder and a folder. I didn't really wanna mess up that folder structure because Kim was also using the folder. So I, instead of move to, I made a shortcut for that folder into Google Drive at the main level. So when I go to my drive, I can see it there as one of my five folders. And then later I just deleted the shortcuts. When you delete a shortcut, it doesn't delete the folder. So you can either move the whole folder or just put a temporary shortcut to the folder. Oh my gosh, that is just, I didn't even do that many. You know what it is, because I'm streaming video. I'm gonna move to, come on, load it up. It doesn't do this right away, I'm just gonna skip. Okay, picture this, that I'm not streaming video and my internet's working real good. Okay, so I have dragged, I have dragged all of my folders into this hot mess folder. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the hot mess folder. I'm gonna decide like, which ones of these do I actually use? I mean, I like use a lot of them fairly often, but often enough to be in my top five I mean, drilling down one folder level isn't really that big of a deal, but it is a lot nicer to keep my My Drive clean. So I have this hot mess folder, and I'm gonna drive, just drag everything. All your files, all your folders. First, don't read them, just drag them. Not drag, right? Move, move, move. Uh, I believe if you drag, it'll try to do it as a shortcut. Oh, that one moved. Oh, sometime, okay. So it'll let you drag. Uh, Test it. You can always undo if it wasn't the way that you wanted it to be. I feel like things change all the time, and I'm like, wait, how does this work? Okay, so now I'm going to look through, and I'm going to read this list. You know, what things do I access often that I really want to have at my top level? Um, honestly, I don't really want any of these, but let's say I want this one. So I'm going to right-click, and I'm not going to do a shortcut. I'm going to move it to... And I'm not going to put it in the hot mess folder. I'm going to put it in my drive. So I'm going to put it at that top level organization move here. So what I did first is I'm in my drive. I'm in my drive. I make a zero hot mess folder and I drag or move to everything in that folder. Make sure it's not doing shortcuts. Shortcuts will make it much messier. After you get everything dragged in there and depending on how much stuff you have, which apparently I have 21 gigabytes, which means that I have a lot. I have had this Gmail account for a long time. It might take you a while to get everything into the folder. So what's the difference between it being in the hot mess folder versus it being in your My Drive? Honestly, really nothing. It's one level deeper, whoop-dee-doo. Uh, just as easy to find, I can still search up at the top. I can open that folder and now I see everything just like I had never cleaned up my drive. So first, just push everything in there. Then go back into that hot mess folder. I'm like, okay, honestly, what stuff do I use? What files do I use? What folders do I use? And move them back to the My Drive level. So hopefully doing that will kind of get you started as you search for or find files that you use throughout the year. Organize those. Don't try and organize all the stuff that's in your Google Drive. You will just spend so much time. I don't know about you, but look, I'm just going to type in untitled. Untitled. How many of those do I have, right? Untitled presentation, untitled document, untitled jam, uh, untitled drawing, untitled, untitled, untitled. I probably have thousands, right? How long would it take me to go through here 
So what I can do is I can single click on a file. Now, if you're looking at the details pane over here on the right, as I single click, I can get this preview over on the right hand side of the drive. Now, where I'm getting that from is from the I up here in the toolbar. You can also just push D for details. And then when you single click on a file, you can see a preview of it to see if you really want to trash can delete it, right? Hit the trash can, move it to the trash. The other thing you can do is push P to preview, P to preview so you can see like, okay, that's green. There's nothing on there. I probably don't need this. Delete. That's for another time is how we're going to get rid of stuff we really don't want, especially now that Google is lifting that used to be and currently is that your doc sheets slides and all of these do not count towards your storage. They are going to change that. They will count. So you will want to get rid of files that you are not using. So not going to worry about that for right now. What I'm first going to do is just try to get everything, everything into my drive, into a hot mess folder, get it all in there, and then kind of start from scratch. What are my five my five folders that I actually use, and I start doing my organization a little bit at a time from there. If you don't use it all year, how important really is it? Probably fine to be buried around somewhere in your hot mess folder. But then as you get a file, and you're like, oh, I did use this. Now organize that one. So moving forward, you're organizing and not looking behind you. Okay, I hope that that was helpful. We are doing back to classroom hashtag back to classroom and we had cleaned up our hot mess Google Drive. So if you would please join backtoclassroom.org. Backtoclassroom.org is our Facebook group where we are talking about this and other tips for how we can get back into classroom and what works well and what tips help us to get even more out of classroom. Okay, so make sure you join the Facebook group and you use the hashtag and we will see you next time.